so today i don't want to go and repeat the same video and tell you guys uh, about how women are each other's greatest enemy i will play the video from pastor funke adejumo thank you guys all thank you for tuning in my name is Katia Valino just in case you're coming over here for the first time please consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell I think I need to sit properly on this ah yes I love to relax when I do my videos right so the only thing that is missing is a glass of champagne or a bottle of wine so this video came my way we are uh, Pastor Funke Adejumo. 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 I don't know. Uh, sorry, ma'am, if I'm butchering your name, but I think it's Pastor Funke Adejumo. So when I come across this video, it was like, wow, I need to share this video with you guys. So I will not take much of your time. I want you guys to hear exactly how she said that, how women are on each women's pastor funke adejimo said uh she titled this video the struggle between women and women and this is so exciting very very exciting so i am going to let you guys watch the entire clip leave your thoughts and comments down below you know i am not a very big fan of her but this particular clip this particular clip that I'm going to play with you guys. Struggle between women and women. When the marriage breaks, it is the secretary who is a woman that breaks the home of another woman. When there's a challenge, it is the mother-in-law who is a woman that says, you are leaving my son's house. Another woman. Now I'm a mother-in-law on both sides. My son is married, my girls are married. And I'm believing God that we are raising a new generation of mothers-in-law. Stop troubling your children. Let your daughter-in-law make her mistake. You made your own. Then when you go to do or move off, then when they give back to children and you go there, why must you spend six months there? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? Don't you have your own home? You say your husband is dead. Go and be taking care of his grave now. And the children want, they want to be naked sometimes in the living room. They want to wear their boxers, but mommy is there. Permanent residence. It's America. Mama, I'm at there. Let the children be together. The very early years of marriage is very important in every marriage. Let them bond. Let them bond. Many of my children are married. I've never slept one night in their home. What should I be looking for? I thank God the two. The one that had children. It was in America. So as soon as they came, I said, from the airport, go to your husband's house, I'm going to my house. I've done well for you. What am I saying? Let's stop troubling our children's homes. If the girl gives, serves you two pieces of meat, you say, hey, 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 the child that I carried. Hey, no, hey, if the girl serves you six, you say, about your death, you call it. This is why you don't have a house. So what will she do? What will she do? She gives you a goose. You say, what a big boy, my day. She gives you a for What will this girl do? So these, these girls are also battle ready for you. Mama, go home. Oh, go home. And then they become rude to you. Struggles between women. I know the greatest struggle. The woman against herself. It's a serious struggle. It's a struggle from the devil, boy. That one is even... Pfft. Because in the name of Jesus, at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Including the devil's own. You can rebuild the devil. But what about when you are against yourself? How will a woman look at herself and begin to bleach? It's like smoking. One, one cigarette, one cigarette that you put in your mouth removes 11 minutes from your life. 11 minutes. When you smoke like this, one cigarette, your life is minus 11 minutes. It's like bleaching. What are you looking for? Why will a woman kill herself because she cannot wear for me here? If you cannot afford for me here, buy Bengals here. <laughs> because these men don't even 
even know the difference. I don't know the difference. So why must you kill yourself because of wig? I will now take 250,000 naira. 250,000 to go and buy wig. When there are widows that I need to pay their children's school fees, 250,000 buy wig. Ah. Because you want to, to belong. You must carry a bag that is one million. Say it's Ferragamo. If you can't carry Ferragamo, carry Garafemo. Bag is bag. Bag is bag. If you check these bags now, is it human heads that you have there? Is it not bag? But they will say it's fine. And then you go home. Ah, I like your bag. That's all. And you are still paying. Pain. Because of that, you'll be fighting, quarreling with your husband. Don't you see what Mrs. Ajide carried? Eh? That's what I want to wear. Eh? One day I said, many years ago, I think about 15 years ago, I said to my husband, I needed to buy this particular show. Okay. Master said, but you have it. I said, ah, the one that I have, one Loma. Master said, I want woe. <laughs> Who are the one that they don't use it again? Create your own style now. Must you wear what they wear? Idea to be different. Come the wig that you have. It is 500 now. Come beat very well. Just make sure you are neat. Spray your body. Look good. Close your eyes when you are worshipping God. So that you won't see anybody's wig. Lord, I just want to thank you for everything. I'm just grateful. <laughs> Hallelujah. Real struggles. I'm being real with you. So guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Leave me your thoughts and your comments down below. Are you a mother-in-law? Are you trying to be a mother-in-law? I am a woman and I'm going to be a mother-in-law. And even before this clip, I have told myself that no way that I'm going to be a, a ton on my children's flesh, neither when they get married, be a ton on their wife's flesh. Uh, just, you know, we, we really need to ask ourselves some questions. The times of our own our uh, mother-in-laws and mothers are gone. This is a brand new generation. You don't pick up your bag, go to your son's uh, house and live there and ask why the wife is dressing the way she's dressing. Why is she wearing purple hair? Why is she wearing high heel? Why is she spending all the money? Mother-in-laws to be and other women this message is for you. Leave me your thoughts and your comments down below. I am itching and scratching to read you guys' comments. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.